I got juice on me. Me too. Welcome to Trylon's. Trylon's a show where you eat food, drink, drink, and have a good time and occasionally try gluten-free stuff. Yeah. Uh, this gluten-free stuff is from Starbucks. Smoked Canadian bacon and egg breakfast sandwich. See, it sounds good, but anytime you add gluten-free to something, I'm always a little bit skeptical. Well, because here's the thing. There is a really good way to do gluten-free, mm -hmm. and there is a really cheap, crappy way to do gluten-free. And we're here to figure out which one this is. I'm assuming that I'm usually used to the cheap and crappy. Yeah. So, let's hope that this is not, I mean, it's Starbucks, so it should be good, but... Again, I'm always a little hesitant to good for you. That looks like you'd see, like something you'd see in like old school movies, like the, the, um... Powdery top to the it. The powdery yeah. top to the, the bread and that type of thing, like something ye old peasants would eat. I wonder what kind of, um, bread it is, if it's gluten-free. I'm not sure. I should know this. I mean, I am a cook, but <laughs> I, I don't know. Okay, so the wait, there's egg and there's Canadian bacon. And there is this bread that looks like it might actually be good. It looks like there's cheese on it too. Let's see what it tastes like. Okay. Yeah. Please taste good. I got juice on me. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a huge fan. Is it the bread or is it the actual food on the inside? See, the food on the inside tastes pretty... Um. <laughs> tastes pretty stereotypical. No, don't get me wrong. I love Starbucks, but most of their stuff is prepackaged and that type of thing. Which I mean, was. you go to Starbucks, you're gonna get like this pre-made, you know, floppy egg in there and that type of thing. It's frozen and they bring it out the day of in order to put it in. Yeah. I, I work there. I know the ins and outs of it. So I mean, their sandwiches have never been particularly amazing to mm. me. I, I think the thing that's killing it for me though is the bread. Uh, so here's the thing. That bread, from the outside, looks pretty good. Uh -huh. Um, but when you get on the inside, it's all soggy. Um, and that's not just because, you know, oh, you made a sandwich. Yeah. Um, it feels like it's been soggy. And there's not much to it. Like, yeah. all I'm tasting is flour, and there's like little, I'm guessing that's like a rye bread, because mm -hmm. there's like little um, seeds and stuff in it. That's I like, feel like if it wasn't, I feel like if this wasn't pre-made and was at some sort of diner, it would yeah. taste a lot better. Yeah, probably just a lot better, but as it is, I, there's not much flavor to the bread. Yeah. All I can taste is like the flour on it. I bet you the prototype that they like, pitched it with yeah. was really good because it's a real sandwich and they're like, we should make this, but make it easy to make or whatever. Well, and see, I've had sandwiches from Starbucks. I've eaten a lot of sandwiches from Starbucks. I haven't worked there that weren't this wet inside, weren't mm -hmm. this soggy. Yeah. So I don't know what it is about this sandwich that makes it extra soggy. Yeah, my hands are. Yeah. And the only reason I'm eating it is to get it out of my hands. <laughs> it's not very good. Yeah. Uh, mm, okay. What would you rate it? Two. Yeah. It's edible. Yeah. I I'd say two. That. Yeah, it's just mm. Basically, Starbucks, if you were to open your own, like, fresh sandwich bar mm -hmm. thing. Yeah. Try again. Um, like the ingredients are there, but the the way it's made lowers the quality. I think. Uh, and don't get me wrong. I see what you're going for. I love Canadian bacon. Yeah. I love eggs. I love fancy bread. Yeah, I'm but... all I'm all about that stuff. But yeah, it just does not work when it's a pre-packaged little sandwich that they put in the oven. The idea is it. It one of those not... little foil like bags that they put in the. Not foil because it would electrocute, but like <laughs> those those crinkly those bags. Sparks. Yeah. Those oh, okay. crinkly black bags that you put in the microwave. Oh, uh, um, like a so, steam bag. Okay. Yeah, and so that it's essentially a scientific way of uh, sweating the sandwich to heat. Which sounds gross, but that's that's what that is. It's like a, like how you do hot yeah. pockets. Well, which explains why it is so wet. <laughs> wet and nasty. Yeah. Um if you have another go-to sandwich at Starbucks, I would definitely go to that. Yeah. This isn't really worth paying the five, four or five bucks in order yeah, to Yeah, it. it was pretty expensive for not that great of a sandwich. Yeah. I mean, if you have a gluten allergy, I'm sorry, then I'd go for it. Mm -hmm. But if you don't have a gluten allergy, I, I wouldn't go it. for it. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'd skip it. It's just or nothing Or go and get these ingredients about. at your local whatever and build it yourself because oh, yeah. the you concept is You got this stuff on a really farmer's market or something like that? 
Excellent. I have yeah. no doubt. Yeah. Mm, that would be good. Anyway, thank you for liking and commenting on this video. If there's anything you'd like to see us uh, uh, try on the show, either on Java Junkies or on Try Launch, you can let us know in the comments below or our Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter page. We also have a Patreon if you wouldn't mind throwing us a dollar or two. We are hoping to maybe expand and do some more shows. So if we hit $50, the $50 mark on Patreon, we are hoping to do some unboxing videos. Yes, and I can't wait for those. Maybe get him in the kitchen, <laughs> see if that Blue Apron stuff is as good as it actually says. Yeah. And other than that, Keep, Keep on, on trying stuff. We totally missed the... Twice a week! We post twice a week. You should subscribe so you can see us. Twice a week. So you can see us mess up. We like messing up. We're still fun though. Bye! <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Can I edit us? <laughs> I need to fade my face now. the puppy! Resist the hound! The hound. The hound! The hound! It's Andrew's... Not very good. No. I can hear you guys. Apparently it's moist. Very moist.